we're not. We're, I didn't follow this religion blindly. I was born in this country. I, I could go out drinking, gambling, womanizing, clubbing. I could have done all of that if I wanted to do it. Yeah, because my parents at home, they would have been Muslim. I would have been whatever I want to be. But at the age of 16 or 17, I decided that I would uh, pretty much study this religion. And if it was nonsense, I would not follow it. If it was just because my parents did it, I wouldn't follow it. It had to, it had to appease my intellect on a rational level. And, and, and it had to have elements within it that for me, using my uh, intelligence, my capability, though, though they're limited, right? It would have to convince me on that level that this could not be the work of any human being. And it but was only then that I would truly you did, accept it. You did kind of say to me, ultimately, that you, as a, as a, 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 a strategy, yes. decide to miss out the white hair, the temple, the things yes. that don't quite make sense. No, no, so no, 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 no. There's a filter. No, no, I didn't say that. No, no, no. no, no. I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. I don't look at the things that uh, that don't you, make you sense. Filter them out. No, no. What I do is this, John. Just as we do in all of our lives. Yes. If I need my TV fixed, okay, and the guy comes to fix it, and he says, oh, you know what, the main circuit board is blown, I need to change that for you, and it'll be fine, yes? Now I say, well, pull out all your manuals and explain to me exactly what that circuit board does, what does that chip do, what does that do, what does that do? I'm not going to do that. Why am I not going to do that? Because I'm not qualified enough to be able what to scrutinize that level. What if your soul is defended? Well, but clearly it doesn't, does it? From our paradigm. Because what I said to you is that rationally, what's the most fundamental, uh, uh, fundamental decision that we have to make first? Is there rational reasons to believe in the Creator? And if there are none, then this conversation is, is moot. We don't need to even have this conversation. But if there are rational, I, 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 logical remember, reasons... I believe in more oneness than you. I understand what you believe in. You, you believe in a, in a form of pantheism. And my point to you was that that is only, I believe, uh, something worthy to pursue if you have rational grounds on the basis of assessing evidence. In, in relation to supporting evidence that has been provided to you. Now, if I just come up with a, an opinion about something, that's fine. It feels right to me, it feels good to me, so I'm doing it. But the, but the point is that what makes something more meaningful is if you can establish it through evidence. You have to have some sort of tangible evidence, right? How can I assess what you're saying to have any credence, any importance? Because if it's a lot of mumbo jumbo, I'm not going to follow it. Quite right, frankly, so is, um, Ibn Arabi, Sheikh Allah, um, heretic in your mind? I don't even know his works. To be really? Honest. One of the greatest volumes. I, I don't. Of I don't know his works. No, but also look, we will find many people within every society deviant to the core teachings of that society. We have exceptional standards in this country about decorum, about respect, about queuing up, okay, about being kind, about being just, yes? Not all of us abide by those rules, do we? There are always people who find it in themselves to break the rules, but they should not be regarded as people who we should be aspiring to follow. But my point to you, my, my point to you is this, uh, John. Well, I've, I've, su I've suggested to you that there are very rational reasons to believe in a creator. And there are very rational reasons to believe that this Quran is indeed as it claims to be from that creator. All I'm saying to you is assess those claims. And if they're rubbish, throw them out. But if they are significant to the levels that I myself, when I've studied them to be, then just go wherever the evidence takes you. That's all I'm saying to you. <laughs> nice speaking to you. You, you, need, you need to be able to read it. Uh, you can't judge that you will. You don't have an No, but also, John, you know what it is, John? You know, you don't have it's, to it's, it's, it's a real shame because in society today as a whole, and this is not a slur on any one person or people, we seem to go with feelings rather than data and evidence. You know, I, I disagree.
you know, that, that used to be characterised uh, a couple of times, especially in a way, as a feeling. Uh, actually, you know, there's a, 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 a combination of this idea of a non dual perspective and physics and science as it emerges, even yes. interdimensionally, yes. all points to this idea. I, I agree. All, all points to this idea. So if you go on the quantum level, no, 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 quantum the, entanglement, uh, the, yeah, yeah. you could argue that all well. this, this seems to make sense. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and, and also the collapse yeah, yeah. of the wave function right. of the right. in, infinite into the finite, into this I illusion of duality. I understand. So this but John, not, uh, remember one thing, very important lesson in life that we all learn, right? Correlation does not necessarily mean or necessitate causation. Yeah, just because we see something in a particular way doesn't mean that the inference that you derive from that particular event is sound necessarily. Because you know, because ultimately, look, John, this is the this is the issue here, right? How do we know who God is other than the speech or the revelation of God Himself? We're just clambering in the dark, John. Well, I, 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 because of time and, and whatever, I, I won't go into that. But I, I think there are uh, some experiential arguments that I could respond to on that. I won't now. But experience again, John. Experience no, 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 no. again on things can often be very misleading for us. What I would say to you is that there are more objective way of looking at it. This book claims to be from God. Okay, anybody can claim anything. Why should I believe that? Well, it claims to be from God because it gives you a formula as to why if it wasn't from God, that, that would not be the case. So you look at the challenge. So you look at the challenge. Then it tells you that there are things in it that you did not know. So you look at that challenge, then you look at the inimitability, you cannot imitate this book, so you look at that challenge, and when you exhaust those challenges, you come to a conclusion that, you know, it looks like on balance of probability the claim that it is from God and that this is a guidance to me is perhaps something I need to take seriously. And that's what I'm telling you to do, John. Look at the claims, evaluate the claims, and if they are substantiated and they hold a heavy weight, then accept them. And if they are perceived to be, uh, in your view, untenable, no evidence, no weight whatsoever, then you have every right then to deny something. But evidence is very important. That's why the Quran says if you speak the truth, provide your evidence. I have truth, I have evidence. You need to provide evidence. I won't go into I won't go into any more because it's just going on. But thank you very much. It's a pleasure. So thankfully we've had a lovely discussion before the interruption came. So the interruption has come right here. It's great. How should I be now? I'm absolutely as of yesterday finished the Quran. When we, when we have a discussion, I did it in 15 minutes. I don't need your, I don't need your nice words. You're all below me. Remember that. I know who you are. I listened to you. I finished the Quran yesterday in 15 minutes with evidence from God. You're finished. I'm absolutely uh, serious. Okay. You can talk and 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 talk Yes. I did it! Remember me! Remember yes. this face! Oh, remember yes. my name, Suzelle! I made you and your daughter <laughs> team a laughing, a laughing stock. stock! And I did it in 15 minutes! Yesterday! Yesterday I did it! Okay. So you want to talk about evidence? I have evidence of God! Okay. I have evidence according to your Quran you're going to hell! According okay. to my Alice Bird! Okay. And I have evidence that some of these people are alive! So okay. that means that your Quran is not from God! Okay. So go and like carry on talking, 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 tal
Yeah. I, I believe you're okay. I believe you. Don't worry. We don't do it for money. Lie to people. Do if you want to fight the Christians, do you? You want to fight the Jews, do you? You don't want to fight your gender. Come on, no. Remember, I have got signed by all of my signs. What is your agenda? 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 <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so we had a lovely discussion with John. Uh, brothers, if any of you could share your videos with EF Dower as well, it would be nice. Because obviously they're not here every week. So if you can, if you've got Anis's uh, details, because I think the more people we reach with these conversations, inshallah, the, the better it is. Um, by all means, release it on your channel first if you really need those views or what have you. But I think share, share the content as well. Um, lovely discussion with John, but I think fundamentally what we needed to uh, establish was that we need to start with fundamentals. Is there a God? Are there rational reasons to believe so? And then, of course, is there revelation from God and messengers from God that we can establish? And if we could do that, that's a rational and a logical way of dealing with things. Rather than dealing with why God did things and how God did things and where God is exactly and how God... Because these things, most of these things, uh, have not been explained to us by the last one. And we should not really uh, get sucked into answering questions that we have no knowledge about. So, Merlin shall I guide us. At the end, we had the Christian uh, uh, missionary um, who wanted to engage in, uh, you know, some sort of an abusive uh, uh, or disrespectful conversation. And as Muslims, we shouldn't do that. Uh, just, you know, wish them a nice day and, and move on. That's the best way, really. Uh, because what we don't want to do uh, is we don't want to go to their level. Also, and this is not just about the lady that was here, because I don't want to uh, pass assertions. But we've got to realize that sometimes people have mental illness. They are emotionally unsteady and we should be kind to them. We should not abuse them and treat them badly because they're saying something bad to us or bad about the religion. Because sometimes we do see people here who clearly have some sort of mental issues. And so it's better to just be nice to them, ignore them and move away from them, but not to attack them and and mock them because really this is not the nice this is not a nice thing to do and it's not the Islamic thing to do. May Allah inspire us all to uh, uh, truly follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Please remember us in our du'a.